Summer is finally here and this is the first time I'm living in an apartment with a nice sized balcony, perfect for enjoying the warm months. Since I've been putting effort into making our main living space feel like home, this balcony truly deserved an upgrade to complete the indoor-outdoor integration that this nice layout allows. This video is the first in my apartment makeover series, so stick around to see how I've transformed this grey balcony into a peaceful haven for my family, including the cats. Our balcony is quite spacious, measuring 4.9 by 2.6 meters, and it can be used almost as an extension of the living room when the folding glass panels are completely open. So I wanted to make the most of this space. Before starting, we knew we wanted to have a grill barbecue and an outdoor dining area, as well as as much seating as possible to comfortably host friends and family gatherings. The balcony also had to be safe for the cats, so we could leave the doors open without worrying about them falling off the railing. With these considerations in mind, this was the first floor plan idea featuring two lounge chairs, a grill, a dining table for four, and a bench. However, I quickly realized this layout wouldn't be possible if we considered the space the bifolding doors occupy when they're open so we couldn't have anything too close to this side. After moving things around a bit, I settled on this layout, with a considerably smaller table and the chairs facing the opposite way, I was still able to fit the grill and the extra bench. To bring this space to life and integrate it with the indoor areas, I wanted it to be relaxing and simple, yet have a touch of sophistication. I used this concept throughout the project to select furniture and decor. The most important thing at the start was to catch-proof the balcony so we could leave the doors open safely. Since our building doesn't allow significant changes to the facade, we had to be creative about solving this issue. After a lot of research, we settled on a renter-friendly solution to increase the railing height and prevent the cats from jumping over. I brought two sets of acrylic panels from Amazon and used large command strips to secure them in place. After measuring the position of the strips on the first panel, we used it as a guide for the rest of them to ensure they were all at the same height. Then, we fixed the panels on the railing, leaving a small gap between them. Next, to prevent the cats from jumping through the gap below the acrylic sheets, we covered it using plastic netting and secured it across the railing with zip ties. Finally, to give it a seamless look, I covered the command strips with black masking tape. The final result is an effective barrier that's barely visible and completely removable. The cats have been safely enjoying the balcony ever since. With the cat situation figured out, it was time to start the makeover. I knew that covering this boring grey floor would make a dramatic difference, so we started there. After a bit of research, the most affordable option we found was these tiles from Home Depot, so we did some cleaning and got started on the installation. However, to achieve that relaxing, sophisticated look, the tiles alone wouldn't be enough. So in addition to them, we bought 10 bags of these beautiful black pebbles, also from Home Depot, and covered all the remaining grey areas with them. Then it was time to add furniture. When I started browsing for outdoor furniture, I was shocked to see how expensive they could get. So Facebook Marketplace was an amazing resource for this project. The first items I found were these gorgeous rattan chairs, which I got right away. When I was researching for this video, I realized they look identical to these vintage IKEA chairs, which are not very easy to find. I'm not sure about their origin, but either way, I absolutely love them and how they brought a touch of uniqueness to the balcony. Another great Facebook marketplace find was this solid wood bench. Its rustic feel brought more texture and visual interest to the balcony, 
while adding more seating for larger gatherings. I love how we can find second-hand items of great quality, give them a new life, and spend less in the process. For the dining table, we chose this IKEA Namaro set. With a table and two folding chairs that are compact enough to fit the space, look great and are very affordable. After adding furniture, it was time to add some decorative elements. From the start, I wanted to have a large tree in this corner, but I had no idea how expensive they actually are. So instead of spending a lot on a real tree that might not thrive in this area, I decided to get a fake olive tree. I know a lot of people don't like fake plants and this might seem like a odd choice for a balcony, but for the summer months this was a good enough option for me. Our balcony is very secluded, it gets very little direct sunlight and virtually no rain, especially at this time of year. That's why this was an option for us. To make the tree look as real as possible, it is essential to put it in a large planter. This one was another gem I found on Facebook Marketplace and I only paid a fraction of the cost of a brand new one. To give the tree more height, I placed some boxes and other items I had lying around the house inside the pot and then hid everything using paper. To complete the look, I covered it with fake moss that came with a tree and some clay pebbles. This area in front of the chairs could use a table to hold glasses and snacks during gatherings, so I decided to make it myself using some ideas I'd seen on the internet. For this IKEA hack side table, I used three serving bowls to make the base and one tray for the tabletop. The first step was to glue the three bowls together using carpenter's glue. After letting it dry, I used wood filler to fill the small gap between the bowls. Then I sanded everything. Using a gel stain and a cloth, I stained the whole base with a color called Kona. In my first attempt, I removed the excess stain as instructed by the manufacturer, but the bamboo of the bowls didn't take the stain very well, so I decided to apply it again. This time I didn't remove the excess and let it dry overnight. I really liked the color and it didn't become sticky after completely drying. Since the color of the base was slightly darker than the tray, I applied two coats of the same gel stain, this time removing the excess, and was able to achieve an almost perfect match. The final step was to glue the two parts using the same carpenter's glue. For the final touches, I added a touch of green to the dining table along with a citronella candle to help with the mosquitoes. As someone who appreciates the importance of lighting, I bought this outdoor spotlight from Amazon to illuminate the tree at night and complete the fancy atmosphere of this balcony. After adding the gas barbecue grill, our balcony was complete. This was the most dramatic makeover I've done so far, and we have been enjoying the balcony every single day. If you like this makeover, be sure to subscribe to the channel as I will be sharing more transformations soon. All the items I used will be linked in the description of this video, except for the second-hand ones. I hope you enjoyed the video and that it inspired you to gradually transform your own space and create a home that you love. Thanks so much for watching, see you next time!